Now the first lecture is RF basics. Then we start with transmitters and receivers. One of the two ways are used by the electrical energy to move from one place to another place that is as current along a conductor or in the air as invisible waves. The electrical energy starts flowing as a current along the conductor then converted into waves to transmit through the air and then again converted back to the current after reception. This figure shows that the electrical signal flows as a current in the transmitter denoted by T which is then converted from electrical signal to airborne waves and traveled at the speed of light and then again converted back to electrical signal at the receiver denoted by R. Next is analog signals. The information can be stored in an electrical energy if it varies over time. When there is a variation of electrical energy over time in a controlled manner is called signal. There are two general categories of a signal that is analog signal and digital signal. An example of analog signal is a sine wave. This figure shows that the sine wave has maximum intensity at point B, then back to zero at point C and minimum at point D and then again return to zero before repeating the whole process over and over again. The intensity of RF signal is a measure of power in watts. Next is frequency. The frequency of the signal is the number of times a signal goes through a complete up and down cycle. One RF signal can be separated from another and one wireless application can be distinguished from another with the help of frequency. Different electrical and wireless activities can be performed at different frequencies as shown in the table on next slide. So here is the first column shows the frequency in Hertz and second column shows the application for which this frequency is used. So you can go through this table by yourself. This table shows some of the frequency range definitions. So first column shows the term, second column shows the frequency range. That is for RF frequency, frequency range should be less than 1 gigahertz. For microwave frequency, frequency range should be between 1 gigahertz and 40 gigahertz. And for millimeter wave frequency, the frequency range should be greater than 40 gigahertz. This table shows some of the frequency band definitions. Here for L band, frequency range from 1 to 2 gigahertz is used. For S band, 2 to 4 gigahertz frequency range is used. For C band, 4 to 8 gigahertz of frequency range is used. For X band, 8 to 12 gigahertz of frequency range is used. And KU band, 12 to 18 gigahertz frequency range is used. Next is digital signals. Digital signal is another type of electrical signal. Unlike the analog signal in which there is a gradual variation between its high points and low points, there is an instantaneous variation between two electrical values in a digital signal that is 0 and 1. Digital signal don't have any values between the high and low levels. Digital signals have two signal levels up and down or we can say high and low or 1 and 0. This figure shows a digital signal. The pattern of highs and lows indicate the information in the digital signals. The information is represented by using digital signals but not carried over the air. The information is carried by analog signals only through the air. Either analog or digital information signals can be carried by these analog signals. The information signal is carried on the top of an analog signal so that signal can travel through air and the analog signal is called an RF or the carrier. So this is all in this lecture. Thanks.